Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no mistake. Hey guys, Noah Osborne here. Uh, it's time for me to do my 2020 in the bag. First, we're going to start with my putting putters. Same putters I used last year. The uh, stock run Lunas with the American flag stamp. Uh, I've tried a, tried a few different putters over the off season. Nothing really felt right. Can always go back to these. These are uh, they're comfortable. They go in the basket. All right, next, going to my approach disc, ESP Rattler. Uh, I don't throw this thing a whole lot, uh, just for little hundred foot approach shots. Uh, it's really comfortable in the hand. Doesn't go a lot left. Doesn't go a lot right. Really point and shoot. Uh, kind of like an ultimate frisbee. Uh, really deep dish. I don't know if you guys can see there. Uh, it's a really comfortable disc for me. Uh, I can I can trust it on those approach shots. All right, uh, my off the tee shots, uh, mainly in the woods. Got a jawbreaker roach. It's uh, kind of flippy, kind of straight, a little bit of both. And then a titanium roach. Wipe the stamp off of it. it looks pretty clean there. Uh, this one's pretty overstable. I can throw it in the wind. I can throw it in the woods. I uh, got pretty much every backhand shot I can use uh, between these two discs. All right, this is a new one in my bag this year. Is the Ringer GT uh, for hybrid courses? I use this thing a lot. Uh, I can throw it really hard at the basket, and it'll just sit. Uh, I don't have to worry about it flying away or the wind picking it up. I just throw it, touches the ground, and it sticks to it. It's a really interesting top on it. It's kind of kind of like the uh, the Rhino from Innova, the way it's made. It's really glideless though, not a lot of stability. It's great for approaches. All right. And my forehand disc, still got the Paul Macbeth uh, four time with the ghost Paul Macbeth on it. This thing's still really overstable, nice meat hook. I can get up to like 250, 260. Don't need to throw it that far. Uh, still got a lot of stability left in it though. All right, we're going to the mid ranges. And something that's new for me from last year is the last year I was throwing zombies. And this year I've learned how to throw the buzz. Finally. Uh, on that note, I want to thank a good friend of mine, Tic Tac, from my area for showing me how to throw the buzz. It's really changed my game, especially in the woods. Uh, I'm going to start here, the Z Buzz. This is my really flippy one. I can throw it on a lot of hyzer and it'll stand up and fly really straight for a long time. Or I can throw it, you know, a little hyzer to flat and it's going to turn all the way over. It's, it doesn't come back. It's a really, really good disc to use in the tight woods. All right, and here I got my, my can top ESP Buzz. Uh, it's a little bit older model. It's got a little bit of dome on it. Uh, this one's just point and shoot. If I put on a little ante, holds the ante. Put on a little hyzer, holds the hyzer. Throw it flat, it goes flat. Uh, it just does whatever I want it to. It doesn't fight back at the end. Just however I throw it, that's how it's going to go. All right, and I have a ESP Glow Buzz right here. This one's uh, it's got a little dome on it right there in the middle. Little pop top. This one's really overstable for a buzz. Uh, I usually only throw it in the wind, or if uh, if I'm in a spot and I gotta throw a, like an ante and it flatten out for a long time, I use it for that shot too. But mainly just straight shots in the wind. All right, now time for my favorite mid range, Z Wasp. Uh, if they made this thing less stable, I just fill my bag full of wasps. That's how good it feels. Uh, if I'm just not feeling the buzz or the drone. I just pull this thing out, I can throw it anytime, anywhere, woods, open, wind, no wind, elevation, doesn't matter. This is like my, my comfort disc. If, uh, if I ever just in a bad spot, I know I can throw this. Alright, and speaking of the drone, I got an Andrew Presnell 2019 ESP drone. Took the stamp off the back because this color pattern is absolutely sick. It's a very overstable mid-range. I usually just throw it for big hyzers out in the open. I uh, don't use it a whole lot other than that, unless I might need a, you know, like a flex shot in the woods or something, but most of the time it's the wasp, but this is just uh, whenever I need a type of disc, utility, I guess. All right, on to my fairways. Got seven fairways here. I'm going to start with my woods drivers. Got a Z Undertaker and a Titanium Undertaker. Uh, starting with the Z one, this one's really flippy. I throw it on a lot of hyzer, I can get it to flip up and it'll still uh, finish to the right. 
Uh, if I throw it with like a fan grip though, with a little hyzer, it'll just go straight for like 350, 375. It doesn't fight back at all. Um, has a really good flight and feel to it. Uh, if you guys haven't thrown the Undertaker, I would suggest getting one, beating it up a little bit, and uh, you'll, you'll see how these things fly. Really great discs. And then the Titanium Undertaker from last year, uh, brand new, just dead straight. Straight as a bullet, uh, perfect for tunnel shots. You can get this thing up to like 380, 400 feet, and it doesn't fade. Doesn't go left, doesn't go right. It just goes straight the whole time. Um, yeah, it's a really good disc for the woods. Don't ever use it out in the open, though. All right, next is another new one in my bag. Got the new ESP Stalker, uh, Paige Pierce's new disc. Uh, still working with this one a little bit. Uh, it's just a, it's a buzz. It's a longer buzz. Everybody was right about it. It's a longer buzz. I uh, also want to give a shout out to uh, Double Helix Disc Sports for sending me this one and for sponsoring me this year. This is a great disc. I appreciate it, you guys. Um, this one, you can throw it on Annie. Holds Annie. Throw it straight. Hold straight. Throw it on Heiser. Hold Heiser. It just goes about another 80 feet farther than a buzz does. Um, and they're really sweet looking, too. It's a really nice looking disc. Uh, yeah. Just another good disc in the back, I guess. Alrighty, this is my favorite fairway driver right here, the Vulture. This is last year's Austin Turner Vulture. Um, this one's uh, it's kind of like the Wasp, I guess. I can throw it any time. I can throw it on a little Annie and it'll hold a little bit. Uh, nice stability, not too overstable, not really understable at all. Um, I just pick an angle and throw it. I can trust it anywhere, anytime, and it looks pretty sick too. It's good color. All right, and I have another new disc this year. It is the ESP Predator. Uh, I tried these out in Z-Plastic. It just didn't feel right for me, weren't flying right. Uh, I picked up this ESP one at Hilton Head this year, and it it flies amazing. It's a little bit more overstable vulture. I really only throw it for big hyzers. Uh, other than that, I don't really throw it. If I need to throw a flex shot, I'll, I'll throw another disc for that. But uh, yeah, for big hyzers, the uh, ESP Predator. Alright, my two forehand go-to discs for the Z-Raptor and the Crystal Raptor. Start with this Z one right here. It's nice, it's got a little bit of dome on it. It's really beat up. Throw this mostly in the woods. Or if I want to throw a backhand flex shot out in the open or if it's you know it's a little windy, I can throw this thing and it doesn't fade a whole lot, it just kind of just drops to the ground. But uh, but mainly for sidearms, stand-up sidearms, long hyzers, shots like that. Then the, the Crystal, Crystal Raptor. This is one of my favorite discs. Uh, no matter what wind, no matter how calm, this thing flies the same. Wind, calm, um, elevation, things absolutely making real, amazing, really flat. Nice and stiff, really good for forehands, backhands. Just a disc you can trust. You can throw it on thumbers, rollers, all kinds of stuff. It's a Crystal Raptor, guys gotta get you one. All right, now to the long throwing discs here. We'll go with the, the flippiest one first. Uh, going with the ESP Zeus. Uh, I got this one uh, a while back. It's brand new. Really gummy in the middle, but brand new. I can throw this thing on a big hyzer flip. It'll flip up, turn right. Uh, you can, it's just a, it's a really flippy brand new. I think this one's really light. It's like a 167 or something like that, but it's a bomber. Brand new. ESP Zeus. Uh, got a couple more in here. Yeah, this one right here. This is a good one. Have this. Uh, I've had this one in the bag for quite a while. This one's just a uh, throw it on a little hyzer and it'll flip the flat and just rides for days. I throw it on an ante. It'll hold the ante all the way over. If I throw it on a lot of hyzer, it'll hold hyzer. Um, throw it on sidearms too. I don't have to throw a lot of power on it. It stays really straight. Uh, yeah, it's a really good one. But my favorite one is this white one right here. This is a 168 pop top. And this thing is an absolute meat hook. Uh, for me, a meat hook is slightly overstable. It's kind of like my Wasp, 12 speed Wasp. I can trust it forehand, backhand, in the wind. Um, yeah, just throw a big distance shot with this thing. Big flex shots. This is my go to right here. And then I got this pink one. This is the one I threw at a USDGC last year, throwing big forehands with. It's got kind of 
kind of beat up since, so I don't have to throw it as hard now. I'll just throw it real nice and easy on the sidearm. It flips up and goes pretty far. I usually only throw it in the woods. It's, uh, it's gotten kind of beat up since then. All right, and this one right here, I picked this up at Hilton Head this year as well. Thanks to Phil Delone for, for uh, lending me this when I lost my force up there. This thing is absolutely, it's, it's, it's almost like a Nuke OS. It's so overstable. It's really pretty too. It's got like a faded flag stamp on it. Uh, Z Force, really, really domey. Very meaty. I don't throw sidearms or anything with it. I can barely throw a backhand. But whenever there's a lot of wind, I don't want to trust anything else. This is the disc I'm going with backhand. Then, for forehands in the wind, I'm going with my Nuke OS. I lost my first run from last year. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really sad story there, but I uh, picked this one up, fly similar to it. It's got a really nice, uh, I think it's a Skeeter heater stamp. Really cool color, nice and flat, not as overstable. Still throw it in the wind, still float flex shots with it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's still a Nuke OS. It's a great disc, one of my favorites to have in the bag. Uh, if you guys need a disc for the wind or, you know, you got a big sidearm, you know, try one of these out. All right, well, well, that's it. I'm gonna show you guys my bag. Going with the yellow and black Discraft grip bag this year. Uh, I want to thank Discraft for uh, sponsoring me this year, putting me on their core team. Uh, I also want to thank Double Helix uh, Disc Sports for sponsoring me as well, and my man over here on the video, Josh Basinger, for hooking me up with this. All right, guys, remember quality, consistency, Discraft. Have a great day. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Ain't no one stopping me. No. On this one, just so we capture oh, really? all the outtakes. <laughs> yes. And all probably. Have a great day. Oh, no outtakes. Dang, first take. You wanted to jump in the water or something? Get me an outtake. <laughs> just follow that camera around with me at the doubles. You'll see one. <laughs> There's your outtake. There's the outtake. <laughs> I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it yeah i'm a rocket boy i stay blasting off and i was never planning on landing been working on my legacy yeah since i've been a prodigy it's probably the dog in me i mean honestly ain't no one stopping me no apologies i'm so astonishing i say innova yeah i've been the one we talking trophies dog give me them championships i'ma give me some and i'm